Hey guys, welcome back to the Some Ordinary Podcast. Uh, <laughs> Who's this guy? I'm back. I'm the guest this week. Man, it's been, it's been a while since we had a guest from the old South on again. Yeah, sure. man, I'm I'm uh, I'm a guest this week. It's been it's been it's been uh, missed y'all. I missed the whole podcast thing. Everybody's been wondering where I am. I've, I've gotten so many people that are like, I just don't even watch the Some Ordinary Podcast without you anymore. Yeah, dude, I stopped watching as soon as that Oompa guy left. <laughs> Well, it's I'm funny because me and Nux did an episode, and apparently everyone thinks that Nux is like my schizophrenic like delusion coming Dude, in. Dude, so I saw that a whole, comment like, lore. section. Like, come there, on, guys, <laughs> really? There's a whole lore about it. Like, you, you've been you've been my schizophrenic delusion, and Oompa's been our like uh, medical like and professional trying to keep me in line. I guess it's uh, okay, kind of a psychiatrist. I keep. The, the I just worked out is, um, a lot, so I'm really tired. Sorry. Oh hell yeah. Well, no on, on my streams now, everyone calls me Mudahar, so the good news is <laughs> it, it somehow branched out to past this. It's, well. a, it's, a, it's an entire lore, but you, you, know, you know what the wildest thing is we have to talk about, boys? Twitch. Dude, Ooh. Twitch <laughs> fucking sucks. Oh my god! I don't, Dude, I don't want to say I've been on that. I don't want to say I've been on that hate bandwagon for years, but I've been on that hate bandwagon for years. Bro, I've been saying hate Twitch. Twitch forever. Bro, honestly, yeah. it's so sad. It, do you think Twitch is a psyop convincing people yes. to stream on YouTube? Dude, did yeah. you see the CEO? He was talking to one of the streamers about like pissing into like mouths or cups or something. I was wow. like, oh yeah, man. <laughs> Good people out there on Twitch. Uh, you know what's uh, what's funny? Did you see their their official response? It was like we just yeah. it was bad language. It was poor language. This this TOS is the same as every. This is consistent with every other platform. It's like, dude, it wasn't. You're just trying to save yourselves. You guys, can it's suck. not like we saw the branded like guidelines yeah. and the ratios yeah. and screen percentages for sure. Dude, so, it's so crazy. like just to summarize for the people that are unaware, Twitch yesterday, tw twenty four hours ago, Twitch released their death warrant. They released a tweet saying that they are upgrading the guidelines. That basically, you can no longer do sponsored streams if they don't get a cut. <laughs> that's the that's the yeah. short. TLDR yeah. of it all. That's I mean, awesome. I mean, like the 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 thing about it is like the so obviously for streamers like sponsorships are pretty much their lifeblood, right? Like yeah. if you think I mean, about Twitch what's... is already taking fifty percent yeah. of donations and ninety percent of ad revenue. It's like it's the yeah, only like for, safe mo haven for most for streamers. It's kind of like you're a street performer, and like in, in a way, it's like. People throw you money. That's like your donations and subs and everything. But they're like, that's not sustainable. You know what I mean? So obviously, people get like sponsors and shit. So when Twitch is like, no, 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 the whole premise of it is, is like basically every platform you go to, they have like their own ad sales team. So like, when you see a YouTube ad play on a video, that's because they went to Google and they like bought an ad off of them, right? Or they paid like a, for a campaign. The thing is with Twitch is like a lot of these sponsors just skipping over and going like, oh, Oompa, you've got how many viewers? Okay, we're just going to like have a private deal directly with you. Let's yeah. just cut out Twitch. Yeah, Twitch just, doesn't like that. Dude, just cook something with HelloFresh and, uh, and that's it. And we will send mm -hmm. you money now because you did that. And it's just yeah. between you yeah. and HelloFresh. However, since HelloFresh's logo is going to be on the stream and it's going to be taking up more than 3% of the screen... That now Fired. violates Twitch's terms Fired. of service. No longer what, a partner. What, what's so funny about it is, like, Twitch did this, and they kind of still thought that they were the only people in the live streaming game. When, like, so, uh, three days ago, I streamed on Twitch. It was, like, just I wanted a low-key stream for, like, Diablo 4, because I couldn't, like, re-chat and play the game at the same time. Yep. So I was just like, f*** it, I'll do it on Twitch. And it's, like, honest to God, being, like, a primary YouTube streamer, my experience on streaming directly with YouTube is so f***ing far fun compared to like just because the thing is like the technology is all the same now right like the chat actually runs faster from what i've seen on youtube um the the features are all there and like the video quality is like you can f around and do whatever you want so it's like it's not just youtube it's like kick is now here and there's yeah. like rumble kick, and all these rumble, platforms youtube Dude. like there's actual yeah. competition now and i feel like kick, since twitch yeah. is hemorrhaging money because people are going to the competitors they're just making twitch worse so that more it, people go to the competitors yeah it's and you see uh kick kick is trying to roll out a program to pay uh small streamers hourly yeah I saw which is that. pretty incredible yeah that's if they do that insane. that'll be insane yeah. I mean, like, they're the ones that hand out these, like, NBA-level contracts to some yeah, of the dude. people, you know what I mean? So it's like... If they, hey, if they want to... I, I think Kick is insane. There's a lot of insane shit that's on there. 
um i've made a video just like kind of diving into the weirdest shit uh that's on kick the, like the strip the, club streams and all that did you see the one like streamer on kick who's like he went oh, yeah. he goes to japan <laughs> and like fucking oh, yeah. all races and shit going oh. nagasaki here and then he gets his ass kicked yeah i saw it they slapped <laughs> the fuck out of him i saw it. there was also a streamer every time he got a dono or something like that he was a dwarf guy and every time he got a dono he'd do a backflip Oh hell yeah! Oh, that's so. Pretty that's dope. actually so wholesome. See, there's like a it spectrum on Kick now. It, yeah, it, 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 it has a lot of different stuff on it. The moderation's Crazy. gone better since like Aiden, because now even Aiden Ross isn't showing straight up on Kick anymore. Yeah, yeah, so it's, it's improved like, a lot. Like genuinely, yeah. it's improved a lot. And and uh, it sucks that Aiden Ross is like the forefront um, of this. But like, who does Twitch have left other than like uh, XQC and? And I don't even know anybody else at right, this point. Charlie, I guess, is the, Charlie's true, the only yeah. reason I've watched But he can do wherever he, he wants. No, so yeah. Charlie's contract is ending, and he said that when he finishes his contract, he is going to be trying other platforms. Oh, sick. Oh, f yeah, dude. So, Hell, I mean, yeah. unless they come back and give him, like, a juicy counteroffer, I don't think anybody will Yeah, but they don't want to give anyone money. That's literally yeah, the, their problem. The, it's because they're incredibly Yeah, they did that already Dr. Disrespect. Because the thing is, it's like, I th well, even YouTube hasn't been giving people, like, deals anymore since, like, I think Dr. Disrespect, if anything. Like, Dude, people just switch over. they don't over. give people deals because Twitch is literally <laughs> it's pushing people to YouTube. They don't need to try it, anymore. It, they don't need to make their website better. They just need to not be Twitch. Yeah, it, it's funny because, it's like, you got Amazon backing them, and I'm surprised that Amazon just lets Twitch operate the way that they do. Like, I'll be real. If I was a big, evil Amazon capitalist executive and shit, and I was like, all right, mother. I would fly down to whatever their office are. I'm like, we need to do some shakeups here, okay? Half this team's going out. We need to make sure that we have like our talent still available on this platform because it's right. It's you know Ludwig left. I mean XQC is still there. Asmongold, those guys. But Ludwig's on. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ludwig's on YouTube. About, I think. They are considering leaving OTK. Yeah, I saw that too. The little. I mean, like the the thing about it is like people like the like the viewer will think, oh, this is just like streamers concerned about their money and everything, and it's not just that. Think about like GDQ and a lot of these events that rely on branding to to actually function. Like people don't understand. Like GDQ costs a lot to organize every year and run. You can't pay for that with just ad revenue. You need like actual sponsors and people coming in. So when you cut into that, you kill shit like GDQ, which GDQ is already over. But like any speedrunning convention, fighting convention, like the streamer awards, any big cool thing that people talk it's about like, for dude, a few. You know, you know how esports is literally the least profitable investment on the face of the planet right now? Yeah. They now can't mm -hmm. have sponsors either. <laughs> it's like, dude, what are you dude, doing? I remember like two years ago, I was like, uh, the, the idea was raised. Like, maybe we should start an esports organization because I was so into like Rainbow Six Siege at the time. And I kind of considered it. And then like the uh, when I looked into the business of it, I had like the, oh, f this is like an actual like lose money scenario 100%. You just got to be passionate if you're in the esports field. Like I know everyone in it just like loses their fucking money month after month. Like I think it was Disguised Toast that came out with like how they're burning a million bucks a year. Like Face Clan literally just like opened their books. Dude, One of their like founders. thing is also wild. It's like Twitch the did get the heat off Face Clan. Because <laughs> compared to, that is true. Compared to yeah, Twitch, true. you know. Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at ExpressVPN. Your ISP, the people you hire to deliver your internet service to your household, can absolutely view every single website that you visit. That information could be sold to ad companies or other tech giants, and they can use that data to target you and deliver you ads or... Well, just spy on you, really. That's why ExpressVPN comes in to absolutely obfuscate your internet connection, your network, all the way through a secure encrypted tunnel. So your ISP can't even see or track and sell your online activity. It's incredibly simple to use, firing up their application and hitting one simple button. You can even pick which server you want. It's an entire service has been rated number one by CNET and Tech Radar, and it works not just on your computer, but also on your phones, your laptops, and even your router if you want it. So anybody that shares your Wi-Fi connection to your house can be under that umbrella of protection. ExpressVPN to me is great because you can absolutely use it to hide your information, your IP address, and even your location from people you just don't want people 
peeking into your life. And it's personally important for me to tell you about their trusted server technology that effectively wipes your internet information as soon as you're done using their service, and these servers wipe and clear all the RAM, which is where your caches are stored. Services will use hard drives, which can keep information well after you're done with them, uh, persistently in hard drive caches, but not with trusted server technology. It's RAM-based. Once it's cleared, it's out. So ladies and gentlemen, protect your online privacy today by visiting expressvpn.com slash SOP today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash SOP. And you can even get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash SOP. Anyways, let's get back to the episode. Dude, Face Clan is so wild. It's like, fucking, I don't even know what Face Clan is anymore. Like, are they like? I want to join. <laughs> I yes. feel like yeah, I feel like you can. It's I'll be there, Tiffany White girl. Yeah. <laughs> what, are you gonna transition out and everything? No. <laughs> no. Well, I was like it? uh, I like Face Clan. I I felt bad for that girl. Honestly, I felt bad for her. Oh, blue dude, blue they, or whatever. Blue feet. Uh, don't know. Blue, don't remember yeah, her name. Fee. But I did watch some clips, and it's so wild that. Um, like, did you see the clip of her getting interviewed by, I think it was Jeb or something? Then she oh. leaves, she runs out of the room crying. And, no, uh, Rain, the, the Rain. Rain. I mean, uh, he, he was, <laughs> did you, what? The, she was, she, I feel like that was so manipulative and passive aggressive the way that he interviewed her. Um, I don't know if that I, was just me. Like, I, the way. like, I watched the whole thing and I'll, I'll be real, like... Okay, when she gets emotional at the end of that, like, maybe the, maybe it's, like, I, I'm thinking of it, like, from too much of, like, a tratty perspective. I'm like, you should kind of just try to dial it down yourself, you know what I mean? You should, like, yeah. you got to learn to give in, you know? You got to learn to be, like, right. I, I'm not going to say the bigger person, but, like, sometimes you got to swallow your pride and let, like, the other person mm-hmm. kind of yeah, win like, just I'm so you can. I'm not going to say that, even though I did feel bad for her when I saw, like, her crying and running off the stream and stuff. I do recognize that I don't know all the context, and from what I have seen, yeah. I do kind of feel like both sides are assholes. A little oh, bit. Yeah, like, yeah, listen, for her, sure. Like the thing is, okay, so in my like in my opinion, looking into phase as it is, um, I, I so obviously I know phase since like we've done like crypto stuff onto them during the height of like cryptomania, yeah. and mm-hmm. like obviously there were people in phase clan that were just fucking degenerate losers, uh, you know. And totally okay with scamming individuals. They've since been let go and whatnot. The thing with FaZe, it's like, it starts off... The the weirdest thing about it is, like, FaZe Clan, it, it's supposed to be a trick shotting and gameplay, right? Well, when's the last time I've seen any of their f***ing founders post trick shotting gameplay or, yeah, like, none. anything FaZe related? Like, right. the founders haven't uploaded shit for months now, you know? like It's just I, not the same thing anymore. I think it's just yeah. so... I don't, even, I don't understand why anyone cares. Like, if you're, if you're an OG FaZe, FaZe guy... I've had to do the same thing with Halo. You know what I'm saying? So just like, let go. just f- get over it, man. Just get over it. It's the, it's just a it's you're fighting a losing yeah. battle that's not going to change. It's owned by uh, corporations now. Also, as to her and like just being on like not necessarily her side, but feeling bad for her, dude. Phase Rain has been on the internet for fucking 20 years, like a long ass time. He's mm-hmm. been getting his ass trolled for 20 years. She's new. She was on Stranger Things. Like, he, there's got to be a, a certain level of. Uh, of like um uh i don't know like it depends yeah, on you your goal i suppose she doesn't have that you know that thick skin that yeah, yeah like, she's just a yeah. regular girl yeah like, it's like, like what it, are you it, doing it just seems if somebody, rude if somebody calls me some like f-ing crazy shit on the internet i'm not gonna feel so bad about it but like obviously somebody one year into this who still thinks the internet is like this non-toxic yeah place. yeah yeah. like, like this has just got to be such a terrible yeah um i feel it, bad for her honestly but yeah, like, at the like same she, time she Rain plays is, video you know. games she streams she's like okay listen here's the thing with celebrity hires i questioned her first and i'm like oh okay so you're hiring somebody because of them being on a netflix show how does that have anything to do with gaming then again in the same breath i'm like what about and Snoop Dogg. Snoop Dogg. <laughs> like, why the f*** did you hire Snoop Dogg? It's like, because you remember when they had that announcement, like, Snoop with the Face Clan, like, necklace? Yeah. And I was like, what the f*** have they done with him since that announcement? Literally nothing. nothing. <laughs> Although, but, like, um, they paid him just, a shit ton. Well, of course. It's, it's all about the optics, I guess. Um, <laughs> but um, I don't know if you just saw. I just saw right now. Uh, Jack Bussy or whatever his name is. <laughs> I think just, that is his name. He <laughs> just dude, yeah. tweeted a new Twitch thing, and it's so bad. I don't understand how they keep doing. This. Hold on, let me let me let me see this. We're we're gonna share the screen because all right. Like, 
How do they not learn from their mistakes? I, I'm not. I'm not gonna scroll down. We're gonna do this together, okay? Me and Oompa are fresh into this. You Hold on, let me uh, a screen share. Zach Bussy. Okay. Is his name really Bussy? His name I is Bussy. So. He's one of the. Oh, that is Bussy. Boys. Yeah. That's yeah, yeah. Jack Bussy. <laughs> that's an unfortunate name. Oh, nah. dude, he's a Canadian. Hell yeah, let's go. Oh, Even hell yeah. Worse. He's breathing Chilly. smog, just like everyone else. <laughs> Not me, bro. I'm in Texas. One hour. As of yesterday, Twitch partners are getting notifications that there is a new contract. If they don't expect, accept, their partner contract will terminate it as the next effective contract. Dead, okay? That is awesome. I Dude, love Twitch. How do they do this? It's literally daily. This is like unbelievable. How According brain dead to is Twitch, this company? Here are, wait. Oh my god. Hold the f*** up. Let's, let's look. Through. All partners should consult a lawyer about the new contract. <laughs> Which okay, is scary as off, hell. I'm going to say right now, 99% of the people signing this shit have never talked to a f***ing None lawyer. None of these people are show. talking to lawyers, okay? So... We are updating the terms of all partner agreements, so stream non-exclusively. As announced in August, you are no longer restricted to streaming only on Twitch, and now may stream on any other platform or service, though you may not simulcast to or from other web platforms so no and services. Yeah. However, multi or simulcasting on short forms such as TikTok or Instagram Live is a lot. Who the f*** is simulcasting to f TikTok, okay? No idea. Or Instagram. Like, this is a non, like, this never happened. Better I mean, visibility. It's just wild. I'll be right back. I gotta grab yeah, water really quick. No problem. And the this is the in... second time Oompa left the podcast. Oh, he's gonna take a fucking dude. He's got a Halo chair. We'll be back in it. six months. <laughs> <laughs> the updated monetized streamer agreement is publicly available for anyone to view on Twitch TV. Before you'll be notified of any and all changes to the MSA at least thirty days in advance. Revenue and dashboard will now be solely available to you in your dashboard rather than your contract. No set contractual obligation. You can leave at any time. Streamer payouts in U.S. withholding. Okay, that's just like what YouTube does. All right, yeah, so that's yeah, one of the changes. Yeah, they're a little behind the times, but it's just wild to me that literally yeah. a day after the entire community collectively shat all over them they decided yes they are going to release a statement how people are just going to get unpartnered if they don't check their email and <laughs> yeah. and, and they got like a 25 dollar fee if you want to leave you got to pay to get out of the oh, wait, contract you didn't now see that? That's yeah the no best I, part. I, I i've seen that too like the 25 dollar fee which is like that's just brain dead and then net 45 payment change which is like i mean i guess that's kind of like standard ish if you want to talk about like even with youtube because like technically we had paid on like the 15th or 20 or something so it's like things are kind of weird and, like the weird thing is like why the f would they do this now <laughs> I, I have no idea I, I it's just it's so wild you, how brain you know the thing the is, is they gotta be f on their last legs, you know? Because, yeah. like, here's the thing. If you are doing... Okay, what people got to understand is, like, the people working at Twitch are not stupid. They know public perception, okay? Right? Oh, like, yeah. I, I've been doing YouTube for years. We've all been doing YouTube for years. Like, all of us who've been doing YouTube, we know when we make a video, we can kind of tell we're posting cringe, right? Like, there's been ideas that roll in your head and you're like, shit, maybe I won't upload that because maybe the audience won't like it. They it's know not, that they so, were going to get so fucking roasted. So here's the roasted. wild thing, okay? YouTube is way bigger than Twitch, and I know for a fact that, like, the YouTube company, they watch our videos. Like, you don't think yeah. Twitch pays attention when YouTube, which is way, way bigger, is actively watching everything that we upload? Yeah. Like, come on. Of course they know what's yeah. going on. I mean, like, the, the, thing, the thing about it is, like, man, they, they uh, like, like they, they have to be imploding. Like, they have to actually be up internally like money has got to be hemorrhaged to the point where like amazon's not even willing to like fucking bank them out anymore if they're if they it, listen if they're pocket watching this hard there's a there's a there's a concern somewhere is is all is all i'm putting out there which is you know it is what it is we'll we'll see how it is like listen i remember like years ago people were like myspace is going to be here forever yeah. I mean, what the fuck happened to myspace right like no, twitch, twitch does not have a future yeah, it's like, still around, dude. My, my the, space is still around. Yeah, that's how Twitch will be around in a couple of years. <laughs> well, the, the, the thing, the thing with Twitch is like, so YouTube is like the video sharing website, right? It's not just if you think about YouTube. Like, what's funny is like we are maybe like five, ten percent, like not even five, ten. We're like five percent of like YouTube. You know what I mean? Like our entire community, because if you look outside of the videos Probably we less. make, there's like yeah. 
probably way less. There's people who make cooking videos, like dog videos, cat videos. There's so much different, like it's normie, you know? Like people go onto YouTube and they will never even enter our sphere of videos ever. It's like fucking exploring the galaxy, you know? But with Twitch, it's like, what do you know Twitch for? It's like the gaming platform, right? Like nobody goes to Twitch and it's like, I'm gonna watch this fucking cooking video. It's like everyone knows everyone on Twitch, right? Literally yeah. everyone knows everyone on Twitch. What, on, and on they also YouTube, do a... everyone is on YouTube. Well, like, even with, like, Twitch, every time I log in, like, not log in, but I go to their website without, like, an account signed in or, like, a fresh browser, every time I look at the left-hand side, it's the same fucking six streamers yeah. that they keep pushing. So it's, like, you're not really breeding new people. Like, everyone, like, I have never heard of a new name on Twitch for the last, like, three or four years, you know? Like, si honestly, since we started this podcast, which has been over a year, I've never heard of a newer Twitch guy. I've never heard of somebody. It's always been, like, the same people. We have Hassan. We've got Critical. We've got Asmongold. Hey, Kai, right? He's new, sort of. Kai Sinat. Yeah. He, but he's also, he's been on the platform for a bit. He, he just blew up. That's the thing. I know yeah. that he's been streaming for a well, fair that's, bit, that's too. that's everyone. Everyone's got to yeah. stream for a while and then blow up. No one blows up yeah. right away. And now people are switching all over to kick and everything, so it's like, who knows, man? Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm like, I even I DM train wrecks about her, and he got me hooked up with like a an account and everything over there. So I'm like, oh shit, maybe I'll just chill out on kick for a while. I mean, I'm honestly I got no... thinking about the same thing. Yo, if you yeah. get, uh, could you uh, ask train wrecks if I can get like a hundred million dollars, please, to stream exclusively on kick? Bro, he might, dude. And tra train is a train is a wild monster on it. And like, whatever issues I would have with train and his like fucking gambling stuff, it's like he's probably been the only creator like that's been able to create a platform that has just welcomed people in. It's like you had like Story Fire, which like ended up in a fucking dumpster, and then you had Kick, which is like I was watching her for the first month, but now I think it's here to stay. You know, I think it's yeah, even like it, Eddie it's from Stay Wild. Like, Eddie from Steak was like, they're making money off of it. Like, they're breaking even even. I'm like, okay, shit. It's on you guys. But, um, yeah. I just DM Train. I'm going to see if I can get a $100 million contract. Dude, if he gives yes. you, like, a $20 million contract, I'm going to get him down. Honestly, Jesus. if he gives me $1 million contract, I'll move from Twitch. If he gives me a half a million dollar contract. <laughs> if he gives me $60. If he gives me a $100,000 contract, I'll fucking do it for... If he gives me $25 for... cents and Belle Delphine's bathwater, I will mm -hmm. move from Bro, Twitch. Bro, if, if he gives me three fifty, that's still better than what Twitch is giving, <laughs> so fuck it, why not, right? <laughs> you know, it's like, who gives a shit? But, yeah, I mean, like, Rip Bozo Twitch, we'll, we'll see. I, I, it's just... I, I love it anytime like a company f***s up so hard, the whole community within f***ing 12 Dude. hours is just unanimously roasting them. It's like, yeah, when's awesome. the last time the entire like internet community really came together like this? Like, Logan Paul Suicide Forest, you know? Pretty much. True. Yeah, but like, this this is, it's just, it's insane to, dude, even Opera GX was like roasting the f*** <laughs> It's the worst decision anyone could make, yeah. like, I don't know what was going through their head. Like, that's who what I'm saying. thought like, this was a good idea? The, nobody at Amazon, nobody at fucking Twitter, that's for sure. No, dude, they, uh, they, they, uh, they have, they have been a, you know, they, they've been a weird fucking company for, for a while, but, you know, it is like, what it is, right? I don't understand how disconnected from reality they could be. Because they think it's they're the only sad, people man. in town. Yeah. And then, and then you've got, like, you know, fucking, uh, FaZe Clan being, like, fucking weird. Asmongold the other day like was playing Diablo for like 14 hours and he was like I think I got a blood clot I'm like Jesus Christ bro don't be fucking dying on stream in his shit. leg well yeah because he was sitting for 14 yeah. hours like I woke up and I saw his like thing I'm like well he thought he did but he got tested and I'm like I'm ah, like if I yeah. if I ever wake up with like a sharp pain in my leg <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know you've been gaming for a while but um send me know. a pic Asmon I'll diagnose I'm a doctor are you? <laughs> Dr. Pepper. Yeah. Got him. <laughs> so what have, you, what have you been up to besides the What kind of content have you been, like, me? planning up ahead? Because I know me and you talked about it. I don't know if you want to... Can we share what we, like, had an idea of? I don't think it's, uh, any, it's illegal talking about it, right? It's uh, Well, pretty much everything that I've been up to is pretty much illegal. I, even if you guys could cancel... Have you guys been talking about the... So... <laughs> Cut it out, okay. please. Yeah, just uh, when you cut it out, just leave it on the lap so people know they missed out on some really juicy Just censor shit. it. Just censor yeah, it. Yeah, cut that out, Don't please. Thank you. Yeah, out. yeah, yeah 100%. It. Everything that I've been up to, some of it you'll see very soon. Uh, some of I made it a doc hopefully I, no one will know. I filmed a documentary. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Not really, but kind of. It's a long video about like a bunch of stuff that's been happening. Um, it's uh, It's a little rough. It's very stressful, but at the same time, 
but I'm going to be making out like a bandit here soon. I'm going to be able to feed that gambling addiction hard. Oh, yeah? Yes, sir. Oh. GTA 5. I've been playing GTA 5 gambling. Horse races. Wait, for no, I, I hear you with me, right? I don't, I've never expected uh, you as uh, an actual gambler, brother. He's not gambling. Dude, he's I lying love to gambling. You. Yeah, exactly. He's <laughs> obviously he's lying to me. This is the thing with Caleb. It's like when you actually talk to Caleb, he's like an actual, like, hyper intelligent, like, fucking really autistic man who, like, just knows his <laughs> shit. 100%. Like, that's like when I came over to your house, I was like, dude, this, like, I was like, you were so fixated on one thing, hyper intelligent, but like, man, just give you one, like, like give you one thing and you'll like master it in like a fucking week. And I was like, there's just no way this guy could fall down the pits of gambling in hell. <laughs> Halo, brother. Halo, dude. I've been mastering I mean, Halo. Have you actually been playing it again? <sighs> I've been looking at it every day. I haven't played it. I haven't this played is, it. I've this, been like... Building the building the momentum in my mind, like I need to play Halo. I need to play Halo again. I need to remember what it's like to have fun on in video games. But you just play the older Halo games. That's all, yeah, that's, that's what, what I'm doing. doing. Dude, just play Golem. 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 What's Golem? Golem. Smeagol. It's the Smeagol game. Oh yeah, yeah that's the, a good game. I heard. Get, yeah, dude, that game is awesome, bro. Thirty eight on that Metacritic, game. dude. Hell yeah. I, when so I, my when favorite I... part about um, the Smeagol game is the fact that the the point of the game is you're like a slave, right? And you have to like yeah. do these menial shit tasks, and that's it. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's the entire game. It's how just, about uh, it's just a menial the shit game. task simulator, dude? That game, yo, did you? Okay, so wait, Nox, have you heard about the Aztec <laughs> I game? I did hear about okay, it. Okay, so. They got fucking... It's okay. Well, let me... I, I want to I give the story for it, okay? I woke up one day, all right? I scratched my butt every morning, open up, like, the social media just to catch up on what people have been doing. First thing I see is IGN posts this fucking dog shit looking trailer. Bad. Like, the bad. animation work was ass. It Dude, looks like it, a fucking Unity like it, game. It looks like uh, a mobile game from, like, 2010. Yeah. It looks like shit. It looks yeah. like... Uh, uh, what's that one where you're running away from those monkeys in the forest? Temple Run. Temple Run. It looks like Temple Run. <laughs> <laughs> it but has like the okay. same plot too. So, dude, it looks <laughs> it looks like ass. Actually, I, I might even make a video on it. It's so fucking juicy. It's so like bad. And everyone was like, "You should be able to play as the conquistadors because they're the ones that prevented the sacrifice. They're the ones that brought their culture over and improved the culture of the Aztecs." And then they're like, "All right, well, we'll add the conquistadors." And they're like, "Well, no, now you're being the." Bad guy. Why you get... They're the dumbest developers I've ever seen in my life. I think they're Polish, so obviously they're a little uh, disconnected from the Aztec culture. Did, did you see the, the the Steam page was the best? The Steam page was like, we've heard what you were saying. Second campaign mode added. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's yes, not what they were finally, saying. a company that listens. <laughs> I no. want to play as the Conquistadors. Well, do you ever do you ever think since they're like Polish, they had like there was a language barrier, so when they saw that they were getting like flamed on Twitter, they were like, "Oh my god, they love that's us. what they wanted. They're they talking want, about they us. love the game. They just want you know to play as the losers or, or the winners or whatever." Last time people were talking reality. about us this much, it was 1941. Yeah. Well, except, yeah, dude. When I saw it, I was like, "Okay, this game like it's an Aztec game. You're setting her like you know what I got out of it. I'm like, dude, I'd love to see a Predator game, like an actual Predator game. You know, like." I'm in the yeah. jungle and shit. And oh, aliens yeah. are hunting me. The closest thing we have is some shitty, like, you know, sh multiplayer game that Sony made. But, like, I, I was like, why don't we have a game like that? I saw this game and the amount of, like, historian buffs in the comment section were like, all right, what? Oh, yeah. Why are we even wasting our time with Dude, this? Dude, it was like, it's like the Cleopatra thing, except cringer. Dude, I heard Cleopatra's getting, like, a fucking $2 billion lawsuit. I heard Cleopatra yeah. was hot. In the, in the show? Yeah, I mean, of, of course. You're clear There's Patrick. a show? No, yeah. no, you didn't hear about this? this, this <laughs> you didn't hear the, about the show? No, I've been watching the Elitist TV lately, boys. I try to feel like I got okay. more money than I do because my gambling addiction. Right. Okay, listen. Course, so, Netflix, for, for the plebs like me and Nux who watch Netflix, okay? Sorry. All right, because... I watch Apple TV. Someone here has access to Halo Infinite and, and Paramount Plus. No, 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 not, not Paramount Plus. <laughs> Halo TV well, show. Well, okay, this show is actually worse. So they took Cleopatra, and so Jada Pinkett Smith is the executive producer for the show. Okay, Red Which flag. is a good sign. That's a good you sign. You already know it's a Red flag. nuclear bomb waiting to happen, right? Like, yep. So they uh, they made She's Cleopatra. Bald. Dude, okay, you're getting <laughs> killed, all right? There's a man flying down from, like, Calabasas. But, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so anyways, they made Cleopatra a black woman in the show, right? Because they, okay. they have a whole series like black queens, and then they cover yep. like, you know, African stuff. Um, so some of the discourse is kind of like, uh, quote unquote, R worded. All right. Just to you know, play well with YouTube here. Um, because what happens is because the show's title African Queens, everyone in this. like, everyone on like the, the fucking idiots on Twitter were like, well, they have to be black because it's in Africa, obviously. I mean, that's just how, like, science works. Come that's on, how man. science works. Exactly. Even though, you know, when you go right. to Egypt or, like, any of these northern African company, countries, they're mostly, like, Arab, whatever. No, but so also, they- Cleopatra was Greek. She had, like, Greek heritage. That, that's that's yeah. why it was really, really funny. Cleopatra was yeah, a I'm Greek Yeah, I'm 10% woman. North African. Cleopatra was as, as white so. as, they, as they come. She was Greek. That, that's why yeah. this is hilarious. Yeah. Now, she was Balkan. In- she was no, a Vulcan. No, no. Let's, let's so, go to Greece. <laughs> wait, wait. So anyway, the, the reason why it was so hilarious is because then they like interviewed people after the show, like you know the uh, the director and all the writers, and they had this old lady sitting there and is like, "I always tell my daughter, don't listen to what your teacher says. I had a dream that Cleopatra was black, right? And you have people like that. This is supposed to be like a documentary. This is not like a historical uh, fiction. This is a documentary. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a documentary." It's a documentary. That's why huh. people were so frustrated about it, especially because they wanted to talk about powerful black queens, and the one that's literally the star of the show is just not a black woman. That's pl- being played by a black woman. Like the, yeah. the entire umbrella of Cleopatra is just a disaster. Yeah, and they, and well, they were mean, getting sued over that shit too. Yeah, so Hollywood's Egypt is suing believe. them for changing their ruling. The Hollywood's a joke. Let's, let's Hollywood's not, make yeah. believe mostly. Yeah, uh, I like to call it Holly Weird. Um, <laughs> not really. I'm just kidding. That's stupid. Uh, oh. The uh, did you guys hear? Uh, Mel Gibson is making a four part docu series on Epstein. Yeah, dude, yes, he's fucking spending. Dude, dude, my, my Mad balling. Max is coming back in dude, action. He's bro. fucking cra- that guy is. He made the Passion of the Christ with his own money, and now he's making a four part docu series with his own money. Just for what reason? Just to just to just to tell people the truth. I guess that's Dude, crazy. I hope he survives this. Oh my I god! I hope he does survive. He well, he, he doesn't. He doesn't hey like man, Jews. Have you hey heard man, about listen, that? Listen, he's the no, no way, really. <laughs> Mel Gibson isn't <laughs> anti. <laughs> <laughs> no way! You tell me the road warrior. I heard he doesn't like Jews. A lot. Beliefs? I heard he doesn't like Jews. <laughs> I heard that. Well, well, okay, well, okay. Now think about it like this. Okay. Oh, you should How... stream on Kick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, you should stream on Rumble, bro. Sneak out to get first that Rumble Yo. Stream on Kick, Mel. Good name. I like the name. Honestly, Mel, Mel should distribute it on like an Odyssey or like any of these platforms first. But uh, have you have you guys seen about like the UFO whistleblower lately? Like, oh yeah, dude yeah. the uh, the Navy task force, the 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 leader of the Navy task force that yeah. said that there was a uh, an an exotic craft. Yeah, a technical de- craft. Pentagon denies it, but I don't believe it, dude. I well, think there's technically, Aero denies it, which is a arm of the Pentagon. So that's not really that's not really saying a lot. That's not really saying a lot. I mean, like, at the end of the day, listen, we all know aliens are real. Let's not yeah. pretend. Dude, we had Keemstar on this <laughs> yeah. podcast. He basically proved that to us. Dude, I, I, I honestly, I love Keemstar when it comes to, like, just aliens, dude. He is the best and biggest dude, believer that I've ever aliens. met. he loves aliens. He loves them. You know, Keemstar does? Yeah, Keemstar. dude, there was one night, one night, Keem, like, messages me because I was going on beta, right? He's like, yo, here's this fucking three-hour documentary. Watch it. I was, I think it was, it was, uh, it was something like, it was an alien one. I forget the name. It was like Dr. Stephen Greer. And, uh, uh, yeah, that guy's wild. He was like, he was talking about like telepathically communicating or some shit in it, right? Or whatever. And I was just like, I watched, I watched the whole thing. All right. A funny thing. Banks didn't watch a single second of it. Uh, so I was the only one that did my homework that day. Um, I was like, dude, anytime aliens get mentioned, Keem is the biggest consumer of that kind of content, bro. And I kind of appreciate it because I'm like, dude, it's just the man really believes. He And I believe too. But so, like the thing is with some of the stuff that comes out. I had so much out, fun on that episode of the podcast with Keem. We, I made so much fun of the poor man. He hates you, bro. <laughs> dude, do you remember his, <laughs> his, uh, his multiverse theory? He said, you ever heard of the multiverse theory? Well, I think inside black holes is just a gate to another one of the multiverses. Genius. I mean, like, how are you going to know that? How, how the f*** are you going to disprove him, He just him, believes though? it, bro, because we don't really know what's in it. So that's just what he believes. Well, the, the, um, that's, that's the thing with, like, fly, yeah. He's amazing. That's why we get, along so in, well. uh, we get along really well. He believes in uh, the world roots. He believes in... Uh, Yggdrasil. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Gonna, the yeah. world roots, blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne. At least he's not anti-Semitic. No, no, he's not. No, That's he's, a uh, I mean, he doesn't like, like you though. Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't make him anti. He, he's sort of he's sort of the Mel Gibson of drama YouTube. <laughs> Whatever it's like, means. he's not overtly anti-Semitic, but like he, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, stop. I'm just no. kidding. He's Keem. He's my friend. I'm not going to let you talk about my friend Keem like that. Yeah, you want he's him to hate 66% of the f***ing show? Oh, that's true. You, yeah, you guys are both uh, Semitic. That's true. I didn't think about that. What am I? Am I Am I Semitic? Am I just a white guy? No, you're the misogynist. No, you're, you're a Yakubian, bro. <laughs> you're, you're I'm a Yakubian. I'm 10%, uh, I'm 10 North African. So. Damn. How do you feel about the... How do you feel about Netflix fucking appropriating your ass for Egyptian shows? Oh, bro, I'm so... I'm angry about that. Did you feel, you like, are. a little bit validated when you saw the new Little Mermaid? Uh, Wait, that's out? Dude, yeah. I don't fucking know. Came out like I, a week I, ago. I think it just doesn't matter. I think it's like a, um... I don't know. I think it just doesn't really matter, to be honest. I, do, I've do, never... Do, like, can, I spoil, about movie can I spoil the live-action Little Mermaid for you? Can yeah, I, can sure, I sure. Ahead. I'm not going to watch here's it. Here's my favorite part of the movie. It has nothing to do with the fact that Ari Ariel is black. I don't think anyone actually really cares about that. Um, like, like from, uh, you the know. The music is shit. Come on, YouTube, dude. There's a lot yeah. of people. Yeah, true. That's a lot of people care about the fact that she's black. Saying, How could they ruin our characters? It's like, okay, yeah, dude, calm down. It really literally she's does a not matter. It does that's not matter. That's the opposite. <laughs> No, dude, wait, so th this is the best thing. So, you know in the original Little Mermaid, right? At the end, so Ariel saves whatever the dude's name is, right? At some point yeah, in the middle. Yeah, the crawl dad or whatever. No, the dude, the guy, the human, I don't the prince know, guy. Dude. The prince dude. Anyway, at the I'm end. I'm a man. He, uh, I grew he, up with Nickelodeon, bro. I risks, couldn't afford Disney when I was He risks his life at the end of the movie to kill Ursula, the giant octopus lady. By like ramming the ship into Ursula's chest and murdering her. Okay, okay. that's how the Sounds original great. one ends. Yeah. Okay, they retconned it for the new one where she saves the prince and in return, she saves the prince again by taking his boat and ramming it into his chest. That's incredible. <laughs> it's incredible. That is uh, so dumb. <laughs> I'm not even surprised at all. A little bit. I'm not surprised. That sounds like <laughs> shit. I love modern Disney. Well, I, I wouldn't deny it. Most modern Disney shows is probably written by a fucking chat GPT bot at this point. Oh, yeah, Let's yeah, not I... pretend. It, it is. Petey, stop. What are you doing? Uh, it is funny that, uh, like, a lot of people say, well, in regard to the AI writing stuff, well, AI is, is just gathering information from, from stuff that already exists. It's like, that's what, that's what writers do too dude, I that's wrote, what directors like, do as well dude I, I, honestly i agree i was watching ai spongebob for like the like it's on my monitor for like two three days now why well because it's why? hilarious because i'm blazed half the time that i'm working on something I so understand you do drugs <laughs> mudahar Dude, I've told you Bro. since the beginning of the show, there is a bong in my I room. I did not know that you did drugs. Dude, this is literally oh, how he dude. pitched the podcast does. Dude, <laughs> trust me. Do you do drugs, Nux Taco? I don't do drugs unless I'm with Mudahar. Yeah, Interesting. Do you do I do uh I do I do heroin. Ooh. I do fentanyl. Perk thirty. Let's I go. do all the good shit while maybe, I'm gambling. Maybe we should invite Destiny to the podcast because he's the only person i've known that's done that shit he's I'm actually done that stuff oh De dude destiny pitched destiny? meth to me one time he's like it's not so bad i mean i've heard know. that before i think i, think, he I, I think he did meth on accident once because like he bought drugs Same. and it was laced <laughs> Yeah. Coincident his his meth it addiction happens. is coincidentally yeah. tied together to every time his <laughs> wife streams with sneeko his meth addiction bro I yeah think, dude this is the wildest shit so like I, for the whole week i had to see like him his wife and like Abba or whatever like slow dance i was like dude i just like he was just sitting over there in silence and everything i'm like man dude destiny's like a different type of dude bro he just gets like he just he he's on you can't roast him you know that's the thing about he's, it yeah, it's just it's hard not to have like a lot of respect for him in my opinion he just seems like yeah. i have a respect for everybody um even jada pinkett really? smith Oh. Uh, yeah, yeah, I have a respect for everybody. Uh, everybody. I mean, just like, it pretty much, like, name someone, and I, I'll tell you, name someone, like, egregious that you're thinking of, that's why you're... <laughs> yeah. Our favorite fat guy. Yeah, I mean, of course. Yeah, of course everyone. I have respect. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, I mean, every, most people. Fat guy. Yeah, I have respect for pretty much everybody, at, at least to some level. I feel like anyone you could speak to and then eventually find some sort of common ground, unless they're a psychopath. Well, but yeah, I tell you what, no, when I, I walk know, around like... and I see the homeless in Boston... Nope. No <laughs> respect there. No, like even with people like, damn, bro. Hold this God, I'm just kidding. Guy. 
joking. Unless unless they're carry around chess tables and they're like savants and they have some like actual skills, just f get a house. All right. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm just most... kidding. <laughs> it's a joke. It's just a joke. I don't fucking care. No, no, but like I, I agree with that I'm too because like there's some people like even even like Rice Gum and like fucking Aiden Ross and a lot of the people that I have recovered. I'm like I I have respect for everyone in this space. You know, period. Um, yeah. How much mm -hmm. that level of respect is obviously fucking varies, but. You, know, you see the whole fresh is. and fit thing this week? They uh, they started like putting on like KKK. Bro, I saw, my favorite I podcast. Saw, dude, I saw the f***ing dude wear the clan hood and just straight up give yeah. salutes. I was like, bro, this isn't... You know what's so bad? Nick Fuentes it was, I think at one point, he's like, this is too far even for me. I'm like, when you got That's Nick fucking That's a bad sign. Oh my God. <laughs> when you, I think when you got like Nick Fuentes like freaking out a little bit, you've got a bit too far, you know? But, yeah, that yeah. guy's a... Uh... That guy's a goob. They're all such goobers. When when do you think? Uh, so I I've, I foresee one of us in this group being canceled to a level in which we have to join that. It, the like, red pill. In order, yeah, because well, because huh? like <laughs> one of us will be canceled to the extent in which we have to become that thing to be able to become continue what, posting on the internet. What we've sought to destroy. Right, not necessarily that, but you, you like one of us will eventually only be on Rumble. Dude, don't say these things, please. You One have of us no will idea only be on kick. That I've had. Please stop. <laughs> Has it been a bad week? It's been a bad week. I can't Why? talk about it on the podcast. Okay, that's fine. Oh no, we can, yeah. There, you know what a, it is, Buddha. Yeah, there, there's. A, I don't know there's what it is. A, no, because you've been, been gone lot of... for months. <laughs> is it bad? Here, I'll it's type bad. it in the chat. Okay, well, let me. Let me. I'll react to it live. I'll, uh, oh, I, I put it into the. I put it into the chat over here. Yeah, don't. You, it's, it's not. It's not the Zam levels, but yeah. It's yeah, that's almost, that's, that's almost Zam. That's almost Zam. It's almost Zam tier. That's like a yeah, Zam but, tier. That's a. But uh, Man, yeah, I really appreciate you good. taking this so serious. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm I, uh, <laughs> I I don't I, like. I don't know. I feel like I feel like one of us may just get canceled because like. Yeah. The internet's kind of in a weird situation where like you have to 100 percent be in agreement with some like really wild shit these days. Yeah. And uh, I'm gonna reach a point where I'm just not gonna be able to do it, and like you're gonna have to be able to make a hard line stance. Like I remember the IDub shit came out, and it's like, Charlie and I made videos, but Charlie's video was like. And even more lighter than mine was in terms of criticism and like he got f***ing chewed up by some of his friends uh, or I some of the people that in that I wouldn't say that his was lighter than yours I would say that uh, he had a, like I guess a different focal point than you did his focal point was I don't think iDubbbz should have apologized whereas you said if he's genuinely changed and feels like he should apologize then whatever it's his call do whatever you want I yeah. think that that was the nuance that really made the difference yeah that's that's pr I, I, that's what I felt as well yeah. I didn't yeah, about same. it that and then, fucking, like, immediately, like, I go online and, like, f***ing YouTube is like, I'm, like, the enlightened centrist. I'm like, hey, man, if that's enlightened centrism, then I'm a f***ing centrist all day, every day, I guess. Jesus Christ. Take yeah. a hit off that old peace pipe. The old peace <laughs> pipe? <laughs> no. The old peace pipe. The old What's up? peace pipe. Never mind. I'm going to stop talking. I almost said something really bad. This, 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 is what, this is what I love about it. You were the last person I ever expect to take, like any of this like political correctness seriously and somehow i feel well, like you do it a lot more than us dude i just don't i just don't like making people upset i don't know what it is it's just like uh and and not that i'll feel the heat i don't care about the heat you're I a genuinely, good person well yeah I, maybe that's it i'm not sure but uh i really don't like seeing people upset with uh for things that i've done like you know it just seems especially things that i've said when i, I don't have to say them you know right like it doesn't do any good so just I don't know. Yeah. I'm just a bit of a pussy, I guess. <laughs> no, I mean, I, th I think I think it's just an adult way to do it. You know, some people are just like being the fucking, you know, um, uh, some people are just like blowing up the internet. You know, like blowing mm -hmm. up like the fucking world around them, which is I not a fucking healthy. Let's really? go. You've been, uh, you've been, yes, you've been eating some wild I've been shit. Sporting, bro. I've, been, I've gained thirty pounds this year. Like muscle or like just straight? Uh, yeah, up? fat and muscle. Okay, but yeah, I've like... just been eating a lot, so I've been shitting a lot too. Let's go. Jesus Christ. Are you going to yeah, make dude. like a fucking body transformation video or something? Dude, we have all not. such a year. My God. We've had such yeah, a year, all crazy. of us, and it's only been like in just less Six than months half in. of it. We're half year. Six That's months terrifying. in. terrifying. Dude, time I think we're all going to be in a really different place in six months, though, not going to lie. Like, we're, we're sure. all going to have something going on. I'll be in the grave by August. Let's go. Oh, dude, this is <laughs> 
don't. How can you be so positive and so goddamn scary sometimes, son of a Dude, bitch? Dude, I swear to God, I think we should start prophesizing our own deaths. I think that's oh, a thing that needs to happen. That's sick content. Yeah, dude, prophesizing my own death. I've, I've made it public that I will be dead before August this year. All right, all right. I mean, I have a, I have a, like two I months. Have, and ever since so I have my appendix, yeah. Uh, oh, he gets a sweet release. Peace. That's what yeah, exactly. He peace. <laughs> fucking peace. Little peace and fucking quiet. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have a, I have a, I have a dead drop thing. Like, so uh, on my YouTube channel, I have like one. That's awesome. Like, I have a, I have a little thing set where it's like a I dead have man a video. switch. Yeah, like a video set to go public in the event of my death. Ever since I had like the appendix surgery of mine, I'm like, and the video is literally like, all right, boys, I'm gonna just tell you right now, I am gone. Okay, I am dead. I missed the the fucking, um the dead drop <laughs> little. Like, I am dead, and then he says the n word. Try to cancel me now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, I, try try yeah. to cancel me. I'm in a different plane of existence. Let's see if I've it got gets one here. as well. I've got a I've got a manifesto I'm dropping when Let's I uh, go, dude. <laughs> yeah. A manifesto. Yeah, dude. It's f***ed up. It's f***ed up. To be honest. Up. I, I, well, that's I, why. I, that's I why I think I can. Nothing like that. I'm living for another goddamn eighty years. Okay, get out of here. God, so positive. Yeah, so positive. That's dude. right. Well, okay, like, all right, what? like, I may be on Rumble, but I'll be alive. <laughs> I may be on Rumble. <laughs> no, I'm joking. I'm never going to Rumble. I mean, hey, man, never, never say never, dude. I hope I don't eat those I mean, words. I don't really say hope never. I, I mean, I mean, hey, listen, don't say never, never bro. say never, dog. I mean, shit. Okay, why, why are you? What? You scared I'm gonna jinx myself, Mister? I'm gonna die in August. Well, that's the opposite, though. You're saying, oh, I don't. If I said, I hope I don't die in August, I'd fucking die in August. But I say, or, I will be do, dead do, before do, do, August eighth. 9 so p.m. Like reverse psychology yeah. with God. August 8th, 9 p.m. I will be dead for sure. So like, okay, are you doing this so you for set sure. yourself up for like, like you've already like mentally prepped, right? Like you're already like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm so ready. So it's like, yeah, but but no, nah, no, nah, dude's just waiting for the video after he doesn't die in August. Yeah, he's gonna make a video. It didn't happen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's gonna be like, guys, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but the death never came in. I was really expecting it to. I do, I do want to do a video where like I will die on August 5th, at, like you know what I mean, like one of those types yeah. of videos. People always tweet it. They're like, just watch your back on March 29th, 2024, or whatever. <laughs> um, I want to do one of those about myself, but I feel like people will get upset and they'll be like, we, we, like they'll think. Well, a lot of people care about... We have viewers that care about us, right? I know. It's I feel been like. wild. Like, I've had two strikes on mm -hmm. my channel, so I haven't posted in, like, the last two weeks. And I have comments yeah. of, like, yo, is, is he okay? Like, Yeah, it's 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 <laughs> weird. Like, a lot of people say, I'm not your friend, bro, about, like, the whole parasocial nature mm -hmm. of stuff. But there are people who genuinely have, like, real emotional connections to the essence of who we are on yeah. the internet, which is a beautiful thing, in my opinion, parasocial or not. Um, I feel like feeding into is weird as f but, like... Uh, I just, I feel, I feel as though if I said I'm going to be dying in August, that wouldn't be that funny for everybody else, but it'd I'd be laugh. so funny to me because you are kind of a sick, N f holy shit. <laughs> Not if I died necessarily, but if I made a video where being like, I will die. You're like, how uh, do I clickbait my death? But I make sure that I don't actually falsely advertise it. I mean, <laughs> exactly, I want to clickbait yeah. it, but like, I also exactly. Say it's funny. It's a, it's this guy's. Pro I'm, I'm becoming a. Pro I want to. I want to put forward prophecies. I want to. I want to set the stage for Yo. that. I want to be the next Nostradamus. Let's well, go, well okay, fine. Aside from your death, what would be the big prophecy for you? Listen, we've got UFOs. We've got fucking Twitch imploding. We've got all these. Fucking... Nah, but that's that's easily disprovable. It needs How to be are UFOs disprovable? Right, next prophecy. Right. Hmm. Next prophecy. What uh, seems right will be wrong, and what seems wrong will be right. The fire will become water, and the water will become sky. <laughs> then you can interpret that in like two years, be like, bro, I told you that climate change yeah, is dude. a thing. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think, uh, let's just say, watch the way Joe Biden walks January 11th, 2024. Let's just say, let's take a peek at his walk. Bro, I swear to God, you gotta fucking end that statement with, listen, federal agents of the In United Minecraft. States. I didn't say anything, though. I just said, wa just watch the way he walks. That's Bro, those fucking Secret Service agents are gonna look. Did you guys see what YouTube <laughs> recently did? That Okay, this is the thing that pisses me off. So you guys know how, like, for the last few years... Joke. We couldn't talk about, or not last few years, but we couldn't talk about election misinformation. Yeah, yeah now, we can. now you suddenly are allowed to. So the people that got fucking terminated yeah. for that, are they just allowed to come back now? Probably I not. Feel like, uh, I hope I, not. I feel like, <laughs> that what does that too, mean to you guys? To That's me, that true. inherently means, oh, well, we can't enforce rules that are not 
that are, you know, we can't enforce rules that are no longer applicable, right? Is it just because they don't care as much about election misinformation or is there is to me it means that there's there's things that have been disproved specifically like some content that people made that fell under that umbrella uh may not like they're probably trying to prevent themselves from being sued in my opinion damn you know like if proof comes out of something i'm not saying that there would be anything but from from a business perspective that's what makes sense to me why they would because like we'll ban you for misinformation they're hard and fast calling shit misinformation they're no longer able to call shit misinformation uh because of how much stuff has come to light in the last like since the beginning of covid of just like stuff yeah. that was misinformation that is now um, like the alien thing that's just been a conspiracy theorist for like a theory for fucking 30 years now it, now there's like real um, people who testified under oath in front of Congress that aliens are real. Yeah, but then again, under oath in front of Congress, O.J. Simpson said he didn't kill anybody. So yeah, but yeah, but, but he I mean, didn't <laughs> though. Oh damn, I didn't think about that. Possibility. You could still you, you could still apply that logic to anything though. I'm, I'm just saying that's the best proof we have at the I, moment. I don't think anyone actually got in trouble over the alien thing. I, I think people got in trouble over COVID and elections. Like that, that's well, I'm really just using it as an about. example. I, I'm not saying that anyone got specifically in trouble. I'm just saying that the 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 tamper of that's misinformation is now like a thing that's just not really um, enforceable because shit just starts to happen now. It seems like we're in the weasel timeline. The the thing the True. thing with like the misinformation shit that we keep seeing and like 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 it would be one thing if they changed it to just like generally like election fraud like general like you know because we got the 2024 one coming up. And that's yeah. why they want to, like, maybe update the policy. But, like, the thing about, like, anything misinformation related, if YouTube takes down your content, right, for a policy that they no longer abide by, it's like, at what point do you... Yeah, they should definitely bring you yeah, back. Yeah, right? Like, like Yeah, I, for sure. I know Sneeko, and I know he's been, like, one of the people that people don't want to see come back, but it's like, if you get taken out for a policy they no longer enforce, I can't in all good consciousness defend that YouTube's decision on that, because it's like... You were so cut and dry to kill somebody off of the platform, and now you you yourself appear not to believe in that, right? It's like, because the thing about it is, like, it could happen to any of us, right? Like, we make content sometimes on risque things, um, and sometimes, like, there's content that I want to make, and I have to bite my tongue on it because I'm like, oh, this is, like, waiting for a policy strike to happen. Because I know recently, like, Destiny, this isn't recent, it's months old at this point, but Destiny made a video... Uh, where he was looking at like um, like uh, some COVID misinformation, and he was just like he was responding to the video, right? YouTube policy yeah. strikes the video, and I'm like, what if tomorrow you take away the COVID misinformation shit? What if it comes out to not be misinformation, right? Whatever reason, did you like take away that strike? Do you like, what do you do? What if the channel was removed under that? Like that's the question that I have. It's like if you're gonna make a website, you got to make sure moderation is like 100% done neutrally and right, you know. There's none of this yeah, bullshit. That, that's another, that's a big one about all these platforms because there's so much like subjectivity involved. It's really hard to keep things fair and even mm -hmm. for everyone. And, and and the thing about it too is like when it comes to, uh, when it comes to these other platforms, like we talk about kick and rumble, but like people got to understand the moment kick and rumble actually pop off, they're going to have the same fucking things that YouTube has to deal with. You're going to have to, you know, you're going to have to deal with the same yep. issues because well, it depends how they pop off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? Like, if, if they pop off because, um, you know, the red And it pill depends thing, who's backing them. Right. Yeah, that too. Yeah, where's the money coming from? That's, that's what depends on the, on the censorship. YouTube has money from everywhere. Um, if Rumble's just paid for by, like, uh, you know, less politically correct brands... Uh, then, then it doesn't but matter. But it also depends care. on, like, because they want to have a mobile application and be on, like, all these storefronts. So now you have to, like, True, now Apple. you have to cater to what f***ing Apple is saying. We'll yeah. make their own. Truth App Store. Exactly. Donald Trump's new App Store. <laughs> truth Store. Dude, I, well, truth Store. Truth. Dude, I love Donald Trump's fucking, I love his, like, social media app, Truth Social. It's one of the f***ing... Dude, he is so funny. He, he tweets, or truths, some of the f***ing most whack shit I've ever seen in my life. It's awesome. I mean, like, it, like the it. thing, the thing about like fucking that, like any time, like I love these alternative social media platforms because it's just like extreme, like it makes a more extreme person out of anything. Like same with Blue Sky and all these like media services, it just like puts people in these hug boxes where they just keep going more and more extreme. And like from the outside looking in, what's Blue Sky? It's Never the heard of that one. so Blue Sky is like you know Jack Dorsey, right? Twitter CEO. He made like a new yeah, social yeah. media platform that's like invite only. So like fucking Jimmy Kimmel is on it. Like all these people. Cringe. 
Yeah. Dislike. Well, it's funny because Jimmy Kimmel got, he's the first person I know to get ratioed on Blue Sky by the other Blue Sky users. Let's go. Dude, Jimmy Kimmel, he's such <laughs> an idiot. Did you see what Jack Dorsey, never mind, I can't talk about this on the podcast. Well, you can't talk about Jack Dorsey? Uh, Dude, all he, of a sudden you have so many secrets. What's going on, I do, bro? bro. I've, been fucking, I've been plotting and scheming the last few weeks, months, whatever it's been. And plotting and fucking scheming, dude. I'm getting crazy. I'm getting crazy. <laughs> no, but dude, it's, I uh... remember when you were just like a misogynist. You mean a sexist? Whatever. Same thing. Come There's on. a difference. Is there? Absolutely. How I would it? know. How is there a difference between misogynist and sexist? <laughs> There's not. No, There's not. There I just want to... <laughs> sexist could be against men. Uh, dude, I'm are, just, are, 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 I'm just... are you glad your homie's finally on the BBC now? Andrew Tate's come back? My homie? Yeah. Oh, Andrew Tate, he's returned? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's been tweeting some really funny shit, honestly. He's pretty funny. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie, ever since he's Romanian funny. prison, dude's he's been doing funny. really well. Dude, they just he's like, they did something f***ed up to him in the gulag, bro, as soon yeah, as they adopted him. I don't know him. what they did to him in the gulag, but I genuinely think he's a force to be reckoned with at this do, point. Do you think like, he's not saying the extreme stuff anymore. Do you think it's really the Islamic stuff that he went down? Like, do you think he met another Muslim in prison and they're like, all right, since you're stuck here for six fucking months, let me guide you through. Let me de I think he met the last person that Jeffrey Epstein saw and he rethought his life. <laughs> yeah, he's just like, you want to... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's, uh, he, he's genuinely been, like, less extreme. Like, uh, a, little, like yeah. a little bit, like... Okay, I'm comparing him to, like... And Sneeko, like Fresh and Fit, and all those guys who are like well, you light can years him wilder. Pre Gulag Andrew Tate. Yeah, pre Gulag Andrew Tate was definitely wild. Like this new Andrew Tate is like, I think I think he's just kind of like I think he's understood. Like he wants to be back he's a on, weeb. dude. He's marrying yeah, Asian wife. He, he loves what anime. He needs to do to be relevant and have the broadest reach, and he's doing it. He loves anime, dude. And that's, he loves anime. Dude, that's and been, I love him, dude. That's been so yes. wild. Um, but yeah, the difference between uh, sexism and misogyny is very simple. Uh, I'm an expert. Oh yeah, <laughs> you've tried both. That, that was the joke. That, that's as far as the, the oh, okay. joke goes. <laughs> I was just trying to be like, you guys are wrong about this. There's a difference. Oh, hey man, okay. you're the so. only one out of all of us that's really interacted with the red pill community in the funniest yeah. way as possible. Like I, I still see your Andrew mm -hmm. Tate shit like shared around yeah. on like TikToks yeah, and I'm everything. Autistic. Yeah, he he knows about pilking. He knows about jelking because of me. He knows about pilking because of me. Wait, what's pilking? Um, I, I'm a little bit behind on it's that. It's not even real. It's a psyop. We made it up. It, it's where you take. It's where you take your uh, your your member, your uh, your uh, your paginus. Okay. <laughs> and then you uh, you force blood into the tip until the tip becomes engorged, and then you continuously force blood into the tip to where it looks like a strawberry. You made him believe that. I made him believe that that's a real thing. I asked him if he pilked, and he's like, what's that? And I explained it to him, uh, and he did not like it at all. Um, but I'm sure he does it now. He's got a big red tip. Man, dude, that's so wild. How do you interview certain people like that and just keep them on the phone long enough to explain them pilking and jelking and all that oh, dude. shit? He didn't even want to hang up. It was pretty awesome, honestly. It was a good, it was a good interaction. I, I do not regret that at all. If anything, I would like to speak to him on a weekly basis um, and ask him more dumb shit every single week because his reactions are funny. I would not mind to have like a discussion with him. I'm always down to have a discussion with somebody for sure. Like even if like I broadly mm -hmm. disagree with a lot of their shit, because I mean at the end of the Did day, like that's what the uh, internet should be. Go ahead. He just had this video because he got interviewed by the BBC and they just mm -hmm. asked him like, you know, you've been a misogynist in the past, and he's like, oh, th these questions again. Right, so he uh, he released a 13-minute Twitter video where he basically said, "Anytime legacy media matrix workers want to interview me, they will need to pay fifty thousand dollars and a box of chocolates." What? Yeah. Fifty grand in a box of chocolates. A box of chocolates, like yeah. Forrest Gump. It's not bad. Exactly. I'll, I'll be honest. It's funny. It's a funny video. Like he's actually playing the game really well right now, and I feel like if he's if he's always if he's always been like this, um, I don't know if he would have been able to get the following that he did. He needed to be extreme. The red pill guy. But right yeah. now, he doesn't. I genuinely think that he's just funny. Like I don't think oh, I, 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 a lot of the stuff that he believes is probably is 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 you know is he said. Uh, but hit him on the um who's that f***ing dork the British guy the British dork. Uh, True the, Jordy. What's that? True Jordy. Pierce Morgan. Here's Morgan, okay. yeah, that guy, that dork. Um, he, is a dork. He, he on his interview with him, it's like he comes across as a pretty a pretty reasonable fellow, but it, it seems like a lot of the stuff he said is just is just 
like completely counter what he has said before. Um, but he goes on and saying that he like doesn't regret anything and he still believes all mm-hmm. the things that he said. But uh, it's it's like there's a lot of holes in it. There's a lot of holes in it. There's so many holes in it, in my opinion, that it has to be comedy. There has to be some level of an act. Right. Um, he's just taking advantage of it, in my opinion. He's just taking advantage of it and just building a, an audience of unfortunately very stupid young men who think that they're going to find answers um, in a literal comedy bit, uh, which is not not good. Uh, to be honest, but like the thing about him is like the 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 whole Tate's like the reason why I feel like he was so successful is not because of his message, but because of charisma. You know, like that's what he has yeah. at the end of the day. He's right? very like, charismatic. Yeah. Like when he makes his 13 minute video, he literally just uh, like he lets the camera go and he mm-hmm. talks and with his hands in a weird position that Oompa is going to rip, show you right now. Yes, the thank you. King hand vagina. Yeah. Yes, sir, about the hand vagina. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, his hand, hand vagina. Buddy. Little talk. Little Phalange talk. puss. <laughs> That's a pagenus. <laughs> Boys, okay. form the pagenus to protect us from the Matrix. Yes. <laughs> uh, he's a funny goober. No, he's a... Yeah, that's what I think. He's like a goober. You know, he's like, a bit of a goober. Would you say? Part of me just thinks that, like, f-ing Andrew, after like he's done like f-ing making his videos on the internet, he just likes to chill back with like a glass of scotch and f-ing play some Hello Kitty online, bro. Like he's just a normal yeah. like fucking dude. Yes. You know? What do you guys think about the the sex trafficking stuff? Do you think all that's legit? The way that he described it in previous podcasts, it's like it does sound like he was like doing like he. It sounds like he was sex trafficking people, like based on some of his words with like passports and whatnot. Um, the the thing about sex trafficking is like people immediately think of like hostel or like and you know right. throw people into the back of a van and like ship them overseas. Um, you know, sex trafficking can also involve, like, coercing people to fly across the country and, like, right. you know, possibly... Lover boy. Yeah. So if that's true and he's not, like, bluffing on a podcast to look cool to people, right, then, yeah, sure, that fits the definition. But, like, I'm not right. saying anything until, like, an actual, like, Same. courts have said anything, right? Like, Yeah, I agree. I agree completely. It, 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 to me, the, the largest... The, the, there's a burden of proof in that he's been jailed, Uh and he obviously, the Romanian government, the Romanian justice system sees him as a threat. Um, and I don't really buy the whole like Matrix is a is a is out to get me thing. Um, well, like the, I feel like if the Matrix was out to get a lot you, of evidence. they could have done a, like at the ma- look, here's the thing. Like the biggest problem with him is he kind of challenged the Romanian government, right? Like imagine yeah, if he did, yeah. Imagine like if, that was the big L. Like imagine if every day, like let's say that I'm like a drug boss, right, and I'm living in like. In Texas or something. Hypothetically. Hypothetically, you know. Hypothetically. Yeah. Hypothetically, let's say that I sold pharmaceuticals of the illegal variety, and perk I perk thirty, perk sixty. Like I'm sitting, <laughs> I'm sitting in my mansion in Texas. I've got like cars. Mm-hmm. I've like got me. everything. Weapons, guns. Me? Yeah. Me. Absolutely. And uh, I was just like making videos on the internet, like yo, f- the FBI, f- the ATF, the DEA, and can suck my. Dude, you're literally like, describing me. The reason why I moved to Guatemala is because Guatemala government isn't going to stop me for doing illegal stuff. The Guatemala Are government is scared me? of me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, then, then Guatemala is going to have a No, because I'd be, I'd be, I'd be sitting on podcasts be like, Texas is a sanctuary state. I'm allowed to have, like, BMGs and all this crazy shit. It's my BMGs. fucking state, dude. I'm allowed to keep it. The DA can't do shit. And then, like, a month later, I'm in, like, federal custody. You, what Oops. do you think the DA is going to do? You think they're going to be light on me or you're going to be like, yo, this guy's been roasting us for a fucking year. Let's actually crack <laughs> the books open, you know? Like, it's one of the things that's funny because, like, when I was doing, like, crypto stuff, I talked to, like, accountants and, like, people that work at, like, FinCEN and, like, organizations like that. And I asked them, like, okay, so somebody's actually laundering money. Can you figure yeah. it out or can it be perfectly, like, laundered? And the answer is always no. Like, the answer is, like, listen... If the IRS, the SEC, all these guys wanted to actually hire like a crack team of accountants, they can unravel any conspiracy, any criminal operation, right? right? The only problem is how emotionally invested are they and how much resources do they have? When you're pissing off the government of Romania, even if they don't have U.S. levels of resources, they'll find those resources. They'll work with other countries. They are emotionally invested to find anything. So the thing with the Andrew Tate investigation is no matter what, people are going to be pissed, right? If he's innocent, you're going to have people who are like, oh, the Romanians are corrupt. If he's found guilty, then people are just going to say the Matrix are after him, right? Like, there's no 
fucking group of people that are going to 100%, you know, be okay with whatever the Romanians say. Of course. I, Although, yeah. I've... The internet's been a pretty quiet lately about whether he's... Like, you know, all the anti-Andrew Tate people that a few months ago have been going wild. Yeah. Radio oh, yeah. silence. Well, like, it, it's it's wild because, like, I remember... And it was, like, we were... It was the H3 podcast that was brought up for it, yeah. too. We were, like... Ethan went a little bit like he went really hard on calling him the sex trafficker and like they were just making those statements as facts it seemed um mm -hmm. again I have to go back and watch it but like I remember the few clips I've seen there was like a few YouTubers that covered like his statements and I'm just like listen I know that you're emotionally against the guy too a lot of the internet is but you got to be fair right like I was yeah, in a slandering. Either he's a sex trafficker. Or he yeah, isn't. it doesn't like, matter if you like, don't like him. I remember technically back then, I I did slander Ethan by saying like you know the, the whole donation shaming thing, and I'm like yo, if you compare that to like fucking what you're saying about Andrew Tate, like holy shit, I'm like doing fucking 2006 YouTube beef compared to like actual really serious claims of sex trafficking, right? Like, and the thing is. Part of me wonders that he might be guilty because if he wasn't, I feel like he would be very easily able to disprove that, you know, um, or find some some avenue. So I don't know. We're just seeing like how these things go down, like whether he turns out to be guilty or not. Look, at the end of the day, I personally hope he's not guilty because if he is guilty, that means that, that there's means a victim there involved. Some, there was a victim. Yeah. yeah. And that's like no matter how the case goes, if there's a victim, the, you're it's it's Not always going to be a sad situation, right? Mm -hmm. Now, yeah, like because I do genuinely believe that, that a lot of what he's done is funny, and it really just depends on the verdict of this case. Because yeah. if it's because like at that point he's just a he's just Bill Cosby. At that point he's just fucking O.J. Simpson. At that point he's just a, a right. monster. It's, yeah, it's yeah. like the, there's anymore. no redeeming. There's no way to redeem him. That's what I said that about respecting people. Um, I don't respect O.J. Simpson, and I also don't respect Bill Cosby. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There we go. Look at that. You see, yep, we, we you found the line. Pedophile. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Sex traffickers and pedophiles. Yeah. Well, I mean, Murderers nobody should ever okay. be f***ing respecting yeah, douchebags like that. Like, come on. I mean, it, it's so... Do, do you have a... I wanted to ask you this. Fuck, I'm so glad it came... I'm so glad we're talking about pedophiles. You had an interview with EDP, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Please, is there anything you can tell us about his? Yeah, I can. Yeah, I can. I can speak. I'm not sure if I'm gonna post the video. Still. Okay. Um, because I I was this guy. I forget what my name was. Uh, so he didn't look me up. I, I did like a different name. It was like uh, um, peppers something peppers or something. Sorry, <laughs> like Dr. Pepper. Pepper. Sam Pepper. No, it was something dumb as. F and uh, I interviewed him. I just asked him some. I asked him a bunch of questions, and I I tried to just kind of. I didn't want to do the same, the Andrew Tate thing where I asked him, like, what do you think about femboys or, or whatever? You know, because this guy's a literal pedophile. Um, I asked him a lot about uh, just to try to get his psychology on the way that he thinks about himself and, like, the way that he takes responsibility for things in his life. Mm -hmm. um, and it turns out, guys, he doesn't, believe it or not. And I, the only way that I would ever post a video is if I, uh, it was, like, 100% proceeds to charity. Um, and like I matched it. So it's just like, hey, if you want to hate watch this and laugh at this guy, that's viable. But at the same time, it would it would certainly um, it would make my other content do do well, because I'm sure the video would get a lot of views. But so I don't really want to I don't really want to profit off it. I don't think it's um, like, yeah, you don't want to also platform of either because I was thinking about like, it, yeah. there's there's no there would be no platforming. There's nothing to platform. Like that, that's, that's pretty moot. In my opinion, I, I, I thought about that a lot. And the things that he says, he's he, He's not being, I'm not platforming him. It's like, he's not saying anything that could get anyone to respect him, even in the slightest. Um, he's just trying to like wiggle like, his way here, out of this? Let him cook. No, no, no. He literally is ignorant. Like he's not, he doesn't, he doesn't think he did anything wrong. Not even to, to a, a 1%, a degree of 1%. His main takeaway was that he, you really find out who your friends are. That was his main no takeaway. No way. Yeah, dude. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like, there's no platform. That doesn't him. even he's sound like a real person. What? It doesn't. It, he's like, it, it's a complete and total. There's no worry about platforming him. It would be more so just like this will do really well, um, and like maybe I could do it for charity, something like that. I really don't know. Uh, I need to get the video edited maybe before uh, before I decide. But does he say some it, like it's... really wild shit in it though? Like about in. Like stuff that could get you yeah. striked out easily, like on YouTube. Um, yeah, some of it that, that would all just be cut out. Uh, but um, yeah, like he just talks about shooting people a lot, 
Let's um, go. which is weird. He talks about how like I think he needs his firearms taken away. In all honesty, I think that's one thing that he need. That's like I never say that about anybody, but I, I, think I genuinely he's in believe California, that he. California, so you might have given the state red flag laws. I think Cali has red flags, right? Like you're if. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's federal now. Red flags are federal. Um, uh, but yeah, I think. Uh, in all honesty, it, it was kind of worrying because he, a lot of the things he was saying about like the haters, the ops that he has is that if they pull up, he's just going to start shooting, uh, which, what? you know, that's not cool. You can't do that. You can't just shoot people because of, because they say something to you. Like, that's not how, that's not how self-defense works. And also it's the, you, you know, the first amendment, it, 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 you can say whatever you want to someone as long as it's not, fucking, you know, hate speech or whatever. Um, which I think you can still do hate speech. No, actually. You can, I, think I think it's just call for violence yeah. and stuff. Yeah, I'm thinking of the internet. I'm thinking of the internet. Uh, but yeah, no, it's it's a total. I think it's genuinely a moot. The, the platforming part is a moot point. Um, there's no no bad that could really come out of me promoting the video. I just don't think it just feels bad. It just feels sick. It just feels like I talked to a fucking psycho piece of shit uh, guy who will never learn. Literally, will never learn. This was yeah. a character development arc. From I mean, respecting like, everyone to not respecting Well, like, the, the thing with EDP well, is, like, the, the thing with EDP is, like, when I covered him, like, months ago, like, he's not capable of learning anything. He just wants to be here and try to eke out whatever money that he can from his yeah. live streams and selling, like, whatever merch that he has. Yeah. Because he knows that this is a path that you can't come back from, you know? Like, in a, in a way, you have to know that. You can't be so yeah. fucking mentally out there. Um. And, and and you know he is that mentally out there. Yeah. Well, if you, like yeah. no self. Yeah. Well, you're right. Like, there's no. He no doesn't self awareness wrong whatsoever. No. He has zero self awareness. That's insane. When, when he says that he no, now he knows who his friends are. Who are his friends? Well, not like, the people. I assume there's people in his real life. The the, the guy that uh, I spoke to to get in contact with him was just one of his buddies, just like a random guy. Um, okay. Yeah. It's 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 up. Like it it genuinely felt like he's in his own little bubble. And there's not really anything that anyone can do, um, because like, like at this point there's no there's no chance for litigation. What do you um, mean like there's no or, chance for litigation? Like, how is, is that no... even possible? Like, this guy uh, should well, I mean, be it, number one wanted. You know, he's a literal threat to children. Yeah, it it just I, I, I was, from what I remember the with the original thing like all that all the all the litigation was like you can't just wait two years there has to be like all the information was obviously reported to the authorities and there's nothing they can do because there was so much it was just so muddied everything was just so f***ed up and so yeah you got your chain of uh, be honest, all I, I know that everyone yeah. says that about like amateur predator poaching yeah but um, I'll be honest I don't understand it that yeah same video, like it. It's so you, incriminating. Yeah. Who cares how muddy the well, water okay, is? Well, okay, so I agree. So there was one case where um, uh, there's actually a really good case I heard about that. So when he had his first sting operation, the 40 minute piece, uh, legally, if you wanted to claim that you were just part of a skit or a joke or something like that, but he didn't that, claim that. Well, if you if you if you claim that in a courtroom, trying to disprove it may be an issue. The thing is, it's like when we're talking about chain of evidence, it like means all the messages, all the videos that get sent, right? So like you have a log of the metadata and everything, so you know things aren't tampered with, right? Like who's to say that this guy could have organized EDP for some joke, right? Even though it's a stupid fucking joke, and you're getting right. your channel killed, and then they removed a bunch of messages, and now like the the fucking law enforcement agencies involved can't confirm or deny it. So it's like. You, no matter what, you should have dealt with the fucking law enforcement first. Which, Absolutely. like, the thing is, the guys who ran at the Predator Poachers, they fucked up because they should have worked with the cops. Oh, yeah. Now, they they did make it up for it. That Josiah Mizukami guy that I was following a while back, that guy got busted in I Hawaii. I fucking hate that guy. Oh, dude, that guy is on. The guy got busted yeah, in he's Hawaii sick. and shit. Sick, busted. Like, they got him over there. So they actually worked with the cops there. Had they worked with the cops in Bakersfield, California, the guy could have been behind bars. And that's, the, like, the thing about it is, like, I firmly believe EDP deserves time behind jail because that's where he gets help. Same. You know, that is what it is. Like, you, like the thing is, for me, I, I have, like, a rule with pedophiles. Like, I'm like, if you haven't broken the law yet by going down the point of no return, I think you can be saved with therapy and whatnot, right? Like, go go to a fucking jail. Dry yourself out. However, if you have broken the law, there's a nice clean wood chipper that I'm about to buy. You can fucking go feed first into that shit. I don't give a fuck. But uh, yeah, man. I mean, that's a that, that's the EDP fucking curse, dude. It's a. I'm just. That's why I wanted to ask you about that uh, documentary. Or not document, but the interview you had with him. Because I was like, 
when you posted that out there and then your next tweet was like, not a very smart guy, I'm like, ooh, this is just not yeah. going to be good. Yeah, he, he's an idiot. He's a, truly an idiot. He has no idea. I asked him, uh, like, he didn't know that I was asking him stuff that was, like, incriminating him and, and making him look like an idiot. Um, incriminating him in the sense of him looking like an idiot. He did mm -hmm. not incriminate himself in a legal ma manner. Right. Um, uh, obviously, and that was not my goal. Uh, but, so, he, I asked him what, what sort of women he's into, right? Mm -hmm. And I asked him what, uh, like, what, what does he like about, like, what specific qualities does he like in women? And he likes women that shut the f*** up. And he likes older ladies, too. That was his main thing, is he likes ah, older ladies. Ah, yes. And I was like, interesting. That's interesting. Uh, and I, was, I asked him, I slowly went down towards the whole, like, are you a pedophile thing? Um, right. And he's like, no, I don't even like young girls. Like, I don't even know why that... I thought there was a cup... Like, he still thinks the cupcake There's thing no is... Way. Dude, it's 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 insane. It's the, truly the guy's insane. Like actually delusional. He's no no. He is he is he's actually delusional. Jesus he, there's no Christ. question. He's a fucking delusional freak. He's a delusional freak. And also every single day, basically since I interviewed him like two weeks ago, he's been asking me, "Hey, can you send me that hundred dollars for the gritty video?" And I'm like, "Yeah, I'll send it this evening." Wait, you did the interview on a stipulation that you're gonna pay him? Yeah, a hundred bucks for a gritty video. A <laughs> hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna send me a video of him doing hitting the gritty if I give him a hundred bucks. He's asked me every day, and I'm like, yeah, man, I'll send this tonight. Don't worry about it. And I figured that'd be funny if I did the uh, if I wasted, you know, like minutes of his or hours of his time of him just thinking about when's he gonna send me a hundred dollars for a gritty? I'll hate the gritty. Well, he, he's not he's not gonna fucking take it a small claims court over that shit. No, he can suck my yeah. He's, dick. he's not even have a, like <laughs> at this moment. This dude actually suing someone. Dude, oh can you God, imagine taking so someone to court? That's that's the funniest thing. It's like I I wish he would be dumb enough to sue somebody. So like when you oh have to fucking like counter him and you have to go to the discovery phase, his whole fucking like thing. First off, he doesn't have the money to sue anybody. Period. Like last I checked, yeah, there's no way it was all pretty much over. And the funniest thing about him for EDP, the guy that's made so much cash, he's probably like YouTube's like first uh athlete where it's like they make good money but they just burn it on stupid shit like he had some insane collection of firearms like more than i've ever seen period you know what i mean like fucking dude had just everything under the roof it wasn't even like mm -hmm. you caleb like caleb's a fucking gun nut but like this guy fucking outshined anybody that i knew like this dude was like fps russian from what i understand he's pretty much surviving by like selling the few that he has left Ooh. i only have legal firearms by the way only all legal. my firearms are legal well, I, obviously, I mean, I've been, yeah, I've been, yeah, I've, it's that saying. I've been over at your place. I'm like, you've only had like good, totally like, in, you know, and a turret, dude, I'll, I'll, I'll be real, man. <laughs> like like I, I like, can, as a man that loves guns, I was so happy when I came over to your place. I was like, dude, this guy is just the most Texan dude that I've ever seen. Check this out. <laughs> what? This is a new one. I got it. Uh, I ordered it three years ago, and now the SBRs, well, the, the, the pistol braces are illegal, so I had to destroy my pistol brace. So I just have this upper, um, which is legal to own. But if I put anything on the bottom of it, illegal. I Man, I thought you guys were Texans. You guys have clearance. Come on now. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just it, so that's the thing. It's like the local police won't enforce. It's a sanctuary state. The local police are not going to enforce the laws. Um, but I still have respect for the federal government and the ATF, and I know that they're going to knock my door down. So I don't, I'm not going to fucking poke the bear. Yeah, exa exactly. I'm not going to like, poke the like bear. Local I missed you so much. I missed you so much. This is crazy. I, so I, good I, to have you back. I, 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 fucking, I fucking love our boy here, but we've been on for like an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, you brought us in. Best guest y'all ever had. You you are yeah. easily one of our best guests. You're a bussy boy. I'll be back next week. I'll be good from now on. Let's go. No, dude, you're, you're, yes, you're, you're not just, you're one of our best friends. And ladies and yes, gentlemen. Yes, sir. True. When when are you coming in real life, Nux? We can do a fucking. Uh, I know Muda, you'll come. I'm come done, in real man. life. Let's do an in real life podcast soon. I want to do. Let's that. go for it. I do. Let's do it. As soon as you got it. You're so far like, away. Well, you want to take you want to you want to take us out of here, Oompa Bill? Me? Yeah, sure. Thanks for watching this episode of the Subordinary Podcast. What episode are we on? Uh, seventy. I can't count past nine, so you're, nine. you're good. Um, I'll be back from now on, guys. I got big news over the next couple weeks, so we'll Let's be go. we'll be. Let's and next week's guest it. is dope too. Absolutely, um, he's an actor. So we're, 
Yep. He's he's a he's a true he's an actor. True. He's a man that's um, taken yeah, as many L's in gaming as Oompa has lately. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys for watching this episode of the Somewhere Near Podcast. Uh, I don't know what else we say. That it's me, Mudahar. Semen out. Semen out. <laughs>